Welcome back. It's time now for the business day. Caribbean Cement is defending its pricing amidst concerns that cement cost is rising. General Manager Yago Castro says after accounting for operational costs and other factors, the market prices are fair. Andrew Laidley tells us more. The construction sector is booming, and so too are revenues and profit at Carib Cement. Last year, the company raked in $20 billion in revenues, a 13% growth compared with 2019. The company said the revenue increase was related to stronger domestic demand and the company's capacity to supply the local market. But as General Manager Yago Castro explains, operational expenses are high. Producing in Jamaica is not cheap. The cost of electricity is high. The cost of the, I mean, the level of salaries that we pay of car cement is also very high. When you put all that together uh, and you consider the scale of the country, you come up to a production cost that probably is not competitive to a guy who is bringing uh, some uh, clinker from Turkey or China. I mean, the scale of the country is not the same. He argues that the recent depreciation of the Jamaican dollar has led to the company racking up losses. Uh, we've been trying to work on the bottom line of the PL in the last two, three years. I mean, keeping our prices basically stable in Jamaican dollars. That means that we've uh, assumed a loss around 15%, one five in, in US dollars terms in our prices. Of course, that is eroding our margins. But yes, we've been working basically, in, as I explained before, reducing the the, the bottom line of the p and uh, through opera operational efficiencies and, and all that. But he argues that the company isn't adjusting prices to make up for all its losses. He maintains that cement prices are fair. For the mid-long term, uh, it's, it's necessary that we have a fair pricing. Uh, we, we need to keep, uh, you know, depreciation under control. Uh, otherwise, we'll be eroding our margins and destroying value for our shareholders for the mid-long term. So the idea is to, to have fair prices, uh, to, to always take a look, uh, to, to, to support the economy the best way we can, but we also need to guarantee the sustainability uh, of the business for the long run. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. Currency trading ended today with the greenback selling for $146.52. The Canadian dollar sold for $117.68. The pound sterling is going for $201.22, while the euro closed at $175.13. Gas, gas station operator Fesco is proceeding with plans to go public. Yesterday, it re republished its, its prospectus for an initial public offering. The company is looking to raise at least $400 million. Fesco will offer up to half a billion shares at $0.80 cents each. The offer will open on March 31 and close on April 9. Fesco intends to use the proceeds to, among other things, enter the cooking gas market, increase its presence in Kingston and St. Andrew, and reduce its debt. Fesco is a Jamaican-owned fuel distrib distribution company. Now it has partnered with independent services station, service stations, to be branded as Fesco. The JSC index lost 53 points today and the junior market index slipped by 14 points. Among the winners were Sibony Group, Medical Disposables and Supplies, CAC 2000 9.5%, Stationery and Office Supplies, and Fosrich. On the losing side were Indies Pharma, Main Event Entertainment Group, Mayberry Jamaican Equities, Margaritaville Turks, and Dolphin Cove. And that's it for the business day. International stories after the break.